Time for the bias sports report. Graham James, of course, arrived at his court hearing in Winnipeg wearing a red ski mask so nobody could see his face, which is actually a good thing because we don't want to see his face. Then he was sentenced to just two years in prison for the assault of two hockey players and God knows how many others. And then the judge read the sentence and said, boom, boom, out of here. Out of here, and then they took him away in his little mask. Get out of here, she said, you disgrace of a human person, and then they took him away. Not nearly enough of a sentence. I mean, like I said earlier... Should have at least been five years, if not 10 or 50. Give him 50 years. Let him out when he's 110. That's what he deserves. Do you see that line brawl at the start of the Rangers-Devils game last night? That was that was fun. Uh-oh. Yeah. Props to uh, NBC for the close-up of all the blood on the ice. That was great. Hey, guys, we got to sell hockey here in, the, in America. Get a close-up of that blood. Good on you, NBC. Three seconds in to that game, too. Speaking of NBC, there's rumors that the monster, Pierre Maguire, could be the next general manager of the Montreal Canadiens. Dum, 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 dum. And everywhere, Habs fans are freaking out at the thought of that. Can you imagine him saying this to, like, uh, to like reporters when they're asking him questions in, in the press conferences and whatnot? Can you imagine this? You're an announcer with a long stick from time to time. I guess. <laughs> can you imagine him saying that to someone? In French or English, because he's bilingual. He can speak both languages, and you know how much the Habs fans love that. If I'm a Habs fan, I'm praying this does not happen. I'd rather see uh, Daryl Sutter as my GM. The Denver Broncos announced Satan Manning as the new member of the team today after signing a five-year, $96 million contract, uh, Satan Manning, because he took poor Tim Tebow's job. It's not Peyton's fault, though. It's John Elway's fault. Because Elway never liked Tim Tebow from the beginning. Because they drafted Tebow and then John Elway came in and he didn't like Tebow. He didn't want him there. Everybody talks about Peyton's glass neck, too. I mean, the guy didn't miss a start in 227 straight games until last season. All of a sudden, he has a couple surgeries. He has a glass neck. I think he'll be fine. He didn't miss a game from 1998 to 2011. That's impressive. Second only to good old Brett Favre course, because Brett Favre's number one at everything. Alex Rodriguez is at war with a store in New York City after taking his niece on a lavish shopping spree worth 17 grand. The girl's mother, aka uh, A-Rod's sister, told A-Rod to take the clothes back because she didn't want her daughter being spoiled. So Rodriguez tried to take the clothes back to the store, but they wouldn't give him a refund. They would only give him store credit. Uh-oh. But don't you know who he is? Dum, 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 dum. I'm, I'm Alex Rodriguez. This is in the middle of spring training, too. Oh, these guys play baseball? I don't know. How useless are these guys playing baseball? He's going on trips. He's apparently going to WrestleMania with his girlfriend because she used to be a wrestler. Like, when does the season start? When does he have a t- chance to go to WrestleMania? I don't understand. Sunshine Girl Ashley is an expert model. That's why she's posing in the newspaper. She's an expert. That's all I got, 875-1061. Hey, Graham James, boom. Boom. Out of here.